Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and notifications on my channel so you are up to date. Right, so this is the latest on uh, Project Sled 2021, uh, codename Stimulus, right? So in the last video, we talked about uh, where it came from, uh, the intentions and everything else, basically the intro. And up, and, uh, up to this point, what we have done, We've got the replacement hood on there, and it's looking pretty good. Started cleaning it up. Hood vents are all painted and installed. That chrome windshield is on there just temporarily. Uh, the thing, it looks pretty good on camera. Well, not, re not really, but it looks okay. But if you look at it, you'll see the chrome on it on the back side is really flaking away. So again, we're not gonna use that as a permanent windshield. That's really just there to kind of give an inspiration of what we want to do. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this windshield as a template because uh, that's really a, a low windshield. I like how it looks, but I do have a mid height over here. So what I think I'm going to do is I use that chrome one as a template over the mid height and basically I'll uh, cut it down and make that a low windshield and then we'll paint it black on the back side and we'll make a blacked out windshield. Because again, like we talked about in the intro, uh, we're going with a complete murdered out sled. Everything's gonna be black and uh, it should look pretty sharp. So another thing we've done is we removed the console. Because again, we talked about how that was busted. And we, we've also uh, replaced the, uh, whatever you wanna call this, the gauge pod plate. And uh, cause that was also broken on the original sled. So we have a couple issues we have to address, and one of them is the uh, the fuel gauge. It doesn't work, and the reason why is, well, I think I I know why. Don't, I really don't know sure for sure, but there's a uh, there's an inline fuse on that gauge, and the and the fuse is missing, and the uh, the locking tabs for the fuse hold for, for the uh, fuse holder are broken. So we we're, we're going to come up with a solution on on that. I pretty much already know what I'm going to do. And gotta figure out what's going on with the uh, the rear adjustable shock because uh, what happens when this thing runs? Basically, every time you give it gas, it just goes through the sweep. It's all over the place. So, and when you sit on this, the the skid actually feels like it's binding up. So we gotta figure out what's going on with that shock. But I'll lift the hood, show you the business end. All right, so there you go. Triple carb, triple pipe. Um, the owner already uh, had uh, had painted the pipes over the winter, and we're in the process of finishing up the tins. I'll show you show you those in a minute. But I had this out earlier today, and just cleaned the uh, the belly pan and degreased it, and, and like I normally do, cleaned the engine and basically got all the scale and all the effervescence on the aluminum off. So that looks good. And uh, so we're pretty much um, gonna pull the pipes off again. We're gonna finish the tins and reassemble them. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna reapply the heat tape on the belly pan because the original tape after I don't know, 21 years or however long it's been, the, uh, the, tape, the original heat tape is falling apart. So we're gonna replace that. And then we're gonna uh, pull the skid out and figure out what's going on with it and why it's spawning and why we're getting so weird, so many weird readings on that gauge. So here are the tins. Uh, the previous owner, well, actually the current owner, uh, spent some time on polishing these tins. They're actually in very good shape. The, uh, there aren't any dents or dings on them or pot marks or anything like that. So they're actually cleaning up pretty good. He did the majority of them. So I just got to finish up uh, two or three of them. And then what we'll, what we'll do is we'll reassemble we'll reassemble the pipes, get everything back in there, and and uh, button the engine compartment up. But yeah, so that's where we are. So why don't we go ahead and fire this bad boy up? Because everybody loves how it triple sounds. And this sled runs great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it up.
This thing sounds wicked. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, it's gonna be hard to give this thing up once it's done. Um, Cause I, I'm really excited how uh, the finished product is gonna be. So one thing we have to do is, I still gotta uh, reach out to a couple uh, graphic guys and see what they want, see if they have the capability to do uh, what the uh, what our vision is on this. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be an issue. I uh, still gotta do that. Uh, I've been very busy the last three weeks. There's a lot of stuff go uh, been going on, um, which is an understatement. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna make some good progress on this thing, probably in the next two or three weeks and go from there. All right, if there's any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.